Well, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. This is Polo, and I love making videos of those who is in Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, then you already know what to do. So today, and I'm very excited about it, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing in detail the newly released Inspired by Elsa Elido as part of the series 3 of these well established <laughs> uh, doll line this time it's been launched and produced by shop disney so it has the um things that we would associate uh with the disney store production of these dolls and the very same body and all those kind of things and i'm also exploring the jack specific uh versions which i'm loving so far and i'm very excited about the upcoming releases but anyway, um, this is the one that we are going to be exploring today. And we also have Elsa right here. She's coming from, I believe that this is the one that came with the, probably the gift set from Frozen 2. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but anyway, the thing is, I will be trying these fashions on Elsa. Not this one. I will be choosing the 2023 storybook Elsa because I think it has a body that would be a little bit more like closer to the proportions on the doll itself um so that is what i'm going to be doing in this video we're going to go through all the details of the doll as well as trying the fashion pieces on elsa and then when i've reviewed every single one i will also share a video in which i will um show you how these fashion pieces look on different uh franchises for uh fashion dolls so anyway starting with the packaging it's just a little bit more of what we already know the simplistic minimalist sort of like take uh from shop disney uh we can read inspired by elsa right over there and as you can see i mean this doll is gorgeous and she might be my favorite from this series um, at first I thought it, it, it was like Snow White because I was truly truly impressed by her but I already got all the dolls because apparently they arrived um, early so I don't know I, it's hard for me to decide but this one is just so so pretty um, this is the third time we're seeing from Shop Disney uh, this uh, face mold um, the other ones were the Belle inspired um, or inspired by Belle from series 1 and the Christmas gift set um, that also came with braids but the addition of these more accentuated uh, makeup and the little bit of like a pop of color for the streaks of blue hair in her um, braids I think makes a difference for me and probably she's going to to be my favorite i don't know um anyway so we have the illy forever um logo right here we have a sketch of elsa that i'm guessing we're also getting right over here as well as our other elsa doll <laughs> and then right here we have the promotional picture of our girl she's actually coming with that super cool silver um mobile phone and then on the back we have the rest of the characters and then here it specifies that um the mini ears will have the glow in the dark gimmick to them so anyway i will be taking um everything out of the box and i'll come back in no time Alright, so here we have our door out of the box with all the accessories and I couldn't be happier. I think they've done it right for this one, so yeah, let's get into it. As we get closer to her, uh, we realize, as I previously said, that it's the same sculpt that they use for the Inspired by Snow White and then the one that came in the uh, Christmas gift set. I believe that this one might be a little bit lighter in skin complexion compared to the christmas one i i don't know um i i have that feeling um but i love the streaks of blue hair for her i think it works perfectly and the way they've styled her braids it's so beautiful um i think it's my preferred 
um, her style for the braids in a way. I mean, it's very original. I very much like it. So the mini ears, the thing is, um, I've already taken them out so I could um, show them to you better than just, you know, and it's a little bit more difficult to put it in place with the braids because the, the braids are a little bit bulky, but you can work your way around it. So the mini ears are so cute. I love like the crystal effect um, for both ears and those would be the glow in the dark. Uh, part of the headband so that is just so so nice I love I love it now um, okay when it comes to her face um, I love her makeup um, it's a very pale silvery blue for the eyeshadow and a little touch of a mix of burgundy and red color for her lips and then the face paint is so nice as well here we have like what appears to be a snowflake and a little bit of light sparkles uh, for the other eye very beautiful very very beautiful now the articulation we all know it is the shop disney standard articulation i think they've managed to correct the uh, popping out thing uh, but still they cannot say it with a 90 degree angle so um, let's hope that they can, you know, update that because it would be as easy as just giving us a higher, um, yeah, like a higher articulation here in the torso sculpt as they've done it for the Jack Pacific. That is the clue for that. So anyway, um, then she comes with this really pretty top that it, that it has two layers and so I'm assuming that the under layer is white and then it has this silvery sheer um, pale blue one with the pattern that's been printed in white and then it has an embroidered snowflake and, in, and um, applied lace at the bottom and it velcros in the back and then it has these two straps right there which is which are really really fine and elegant and then moving down we have these very interesting uh, jeans which I love they're high-waisted the denim or yeah I think it feels like denim um, it doesn't feel as um, thin as other versions or other um, pieces that we've um, got in the past it feels quite thick i love the color uh, it's very nicely done and it's very nicely a fit for this kind of body and then as we move down it has i wouldn't say it's like a bell shape but it, it is not like super um fit all all around it has more of like a tube um i don't know it's a bit bell shaped but not extremely um, accentuated it's just like you know uh, but it's very very interesting it has this um, pattern of snowflakes and then rhinestones in places especially on the front uh, because on the back there are no rhinestones but I think these are very beautiful I really can't wait to try it on Elsa and then the shoes are probably the most underwhelming part of these set they're very basic they're not even like having the uh, painted details for the laces which is what <laughs> i don't know maybe they're supposed to like be just the, the one color but again i feel like quite possibly this would be the most basic ones from this series even compared to the boy ones um they're purple um probably uh, reusing a similar um, Converse style ones from uh, previous series. Now, uh, when it comes to accessories, we have this necklace that is so cute with, uh, is it the other way around? I don't know. No, it's like that. So we have a snowflake uh, right there and it's plastic, uh, but it has a nice silvery touch. Not chromatic, but nice. And then she comes with this mobile phone with the black screen and there's nothing on the back as opposed to other ones that have a sticker or something but which is cool because 
everyone can actually um, any other character could use this one without having something associated with it um, yeah so I like that now we have this bag which is super cool um, it has the opening right there and I would say you can fit something I appreciate the fact that um, this strap is actual ribbon and then uh, the design is super cool because it, it feels like a sketch of the ice castle um, that appeared in the movie and it's painted both sides so I very much like this bag and then probably my favorite piece is this jacket it has a very interesting material that i was expecting to to feel like very rough and stiff but it but it isn't like it's super soft and so it's this iridescent um very soft material that takes me back to the 90s but i think it's an you know uh, upgrade to the materials that w were used at the time and the, the um, jacket it's lined for the torso part of it which gives the illusion of being translucent for the sleeves and obviously not for the front and the back but super cute and then it, ha it has a faux zipper and a little bit of like a I don't know a touch of uh, an inclusion of Olaf right there I don't know if you can see it right but it's uh, super cute and yeah this jacket is so cool it's giving me generation girl vibes <laughs> for sure and now we're going to see the surprise inside of the balloon so let's see I, I'm really hoping it's something new um, and I'm very very excited to discover so we have the legend with all different surprises that we can get and ooh, it's green all right so I think these are like uh, crispy cookies could be I think so like uh, rice or corn um, you know um, cookies with chocolate and crocanti and uh, things on top I like it very much um, I think it's really cool and it's really nicely painted and textured so yeah super happy now we're going to be trying these pieces on Elsa and then I will give you my final thoughts of this doll wearing the complete outfit wow I couldn't like it more than this I mean wow <laughs> i'm speechless really i think that these fashion pieces fit the 2023 storybook elsa doll perfectly um to the point that i think she's going to be using these fashions for now anyway um, everything fits perfect for this body even the shoes which are a little bit loose but uh since they are like a little bit high and then if you place something at the bottom um, that would secure them in place but the rest is just like a perfect fit the ears everything it's like Elsa is having just the you know lots of fun um, just as incognito um, well uh, go into any of the Disney parks and I love it so I'll get closer you can see and she looks absolutely amazing wow i really really like this so now i'll give you my final thoughts okay so final thoughts i have to say i love this one so much i love the base doll um a hundred percent and then the pieces are really cool and very interesting aside from the shoes which feel a little bit too basic but other than that i am very happy with it and this is how she looks with everything all together um as the whole ensemble so yeah i'm very happy i'm very very happy with her and i would totally recommend this all so i hope you've enjoyed this review and it's been helpful and if that is the case well don't forget to give me a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know what you think in the comments down below as always i will be more than happy to get back to all of you for now stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye